What's going on, brothers? It's the Miami Technical the name. I've got a video for you. It's written a title, Furthering the Affliction. Here goes. Shout to RPM, shout to Casual Bachelor, and shout to a few other brothers who've given me the uh, motivation to actually put this video out. So check this out. Now that more cities and a couple of states are deciding to go back under lockdown, I've noticed that certain elements in the opposition have decided to shift their focus and tell other women that there's actually power in being feminine. Which pretty much means that because these lockdowns are on their way and which means a lot of them are going to be out of work, they're basically teaching other women how to be chameleons and gold diggers at the same time. So let me get this right. Because things are waxing worse and worse because of this COVID season, because men are not interested in being your pit wallets, you've been reduced to pretending to be chameleons and gold diggers. I have to say, pride comes before the fall. Despite five decades of these same specimens telling the world that they were strong and independent, they don't need no man, they're just now reverting back to saying that fem being feminine is there's power in being feminine. It's pathetic. It's cowardice. It goes back to the old quote, there are no feminists around when the lifeboats are being lowered. I mean, it's pathetic. But then, but then again, our opposition has no shame. They're shameless. How low can you go? <laughs> That's your attitude. So, for you brothers worth your sort, you brothers who have eyes and ears to hear, you brothers who are taking this red pill, you're going to be able to see this shit coming. But the fence sitters, the purple peelers, the blue peelers, and the mention on book plugs who are stuck on stupid and proud to be there, they're going to get annihilated. And it's going to suck to be them. Because let's be real. Let's be frank here. The only reason why they're just now embracing femininity and saying that there's power in it is because they're desperate. And let's be real, they were desperate long before this COVID shit hit. They were. Hence the reason why at one point you started seeing these trollops say to themselves that feminism never happened. And now you got the ones saying that, well, I'm strong and independent, but I have a boyfriend. But if you're strong and independent, you don't need no man. Why the fuck do you have a boyfriend? Which is it? You can't even live up to your own hype. But then again, that's to be expected. But for you brothers worth your salt, you brothers who have eyes and ears to hear, keep your head on the swivel. Keep your eyes open. And please understand that in these next couple of months, when these trollops come to you and they're being all nice and all cordial with you, it's only because they want something. They want something out of you. I mean, it's, it's really sad. It's, it's disgusting. It's like with what West Duty said a couple of years back in regards to people who 
identifies Native Americans. He said, people identify with whatever gives them the most benefit. I was like, he's absolutely correct. That's why you have a lot of women today who don't call themselves feminists anymore. Because they understand that the pet wallets that they want are running for cover. Hell, even the DNA dumpsters and the trash bags who are sticking up social media, even they're having a hard time. <laughs> Especially them. I mean, <laughs> I mean, where the fuck do you come off telling a man that he has to give 10K a month just to be in your presence? The delusion of these trials is ridiculous. But the desperation is increasing. And you know that series I put out, Karen Mania? You're going to see more of that. Their affliction is being furthered. And they have no one to blame for this but themselves. The truth hurts but lies can kill. 70% of them are carrying student loan debt. They account for most of the holders of consumer debt. So despite all this boasting and bragging of being strong and independent, being financially secure, they're bankrupt. But it was all self-inflicted. Mm-hmm. Sucks to be them. It is what it is. This is Lana Mictal, and I'll talk about for you as Veal Brothers. If you like the video, like, scene, write a commentary, feel free to subscribe. If you're enjoying this my channel, you find a tip jar on the upper right side of the screen. That's the G Plus icon. All right, fam. All right, brother. You know what's real. You know what's real. Go on, we live in we. SYSBM. And for you brothers who are out there on the road working during this holiday season, more power to you. Keep your head on the swivel. If the wheels ain't turning, you ain't earning. Do your thing, brothers. Mm hmm. This is Lana Mictal. That's all I have for this video. And as for our opposition, these trollops, these DNA dumpsters, these bench out butt plugs, and those who have a problem with what we say, and how we say it, give them nothing. This is Mictal PSA. Watercomers, sit tight. See you soon.